Hello and welcome to Web Learning, where knowledge is shared. In today's video, I'll show how to use the ADC with DMA. It's always best to go and watch other videos that I made in order to have a better base to understand the more advanced videos and tutorials that I'm doing. For this video, it's important that you know how to use the Cubemix and maybe how to do the ADC with interrupt. DMA is direct memory access. In the STM32, to keep it in simple terms, it's an automated system that takes any information that comes from the ADC and puts it in the memory without the user intervention. There are different ways to do the ADC conversions. Again, I cover them in the ADC interrupt. And in today's video, I'll show how to do single continuous conversion with the DMA. It is also possible to do DMA with one buffer size, but that's almost the same as doing it with interrupt. The way that the code works is first initialize the ADC, then start the DMA, either get HAL OK, HAL error, or HAL busy. When the buffer of the stream is full, you get the interrupt handler, and then you process the callback or you get an error callback. Our code will be between user begin 2, user begin 3, and user begin 4. For the ADC start DMA, this is the function. For the callback, we'll use this function the conversion complete callback and then we'll also use the DAC instead of a signal generator. So for the private variables we'll use the value ADC and whatever size that you need in our example we use a buffer size 10. Anything will be in red it's only optional for the DAC because again I'm using it instead of a, a signal generator. We'll start with a value of DAC of 500 in user begin 2, we'll start the DAC and we'll set the value. For the ADC, we'll set the DMA, we'll use the ADC. This is where the values will be placed and this is the amount of values that we're going to put in. In the wall 1, we'll set the DAC, we'll increase the DAC. If the DAC is over 4095, we'll change it to 0. We'll do HAL delay and this is the HAL ADC start. Every time HAL ADC start gets, the DMA will be triggered and will automatically do an ADC conversion. There are many ways to use the ADC. In our example today, I'll show how to do a single conversion into a buffer. There is also the single continuous conversion option and this will fill all the buffer all at once. Using this method, you can control when you want the DMA to measure the ADC. There are two types of callbacks. This callback is half of the transfer so when you are in the middle of your buffer you reach this callback and this is when the buffer is full you reach the conversion complete callback as always i'm going to use the stm32 l053 board i'm going con to connect pa0 and pa4 the pa0 is the adc and the pa4 is the output of the duck i've opened my cube ide i'll start file new STM32 project, port selector, S053, Nucleo, next. My project name for today is ADC DMA. I'll turn off the oscillators. I'll go and turn on the dock, just to make sure I'm on PA4. I'll turn on in zero, that's PA zero. I'll set the DMA, I'll click add, I'll select whatever option I have. I need to highlight the ADC. Here I have two options, either normal or circular. For now I'll leave it to normal and I'll show you later what circular mode does. Just to make sure that the NVIC settings, the DMA, is turned on. In parameter settings, the synchronization clock, I always like to put it in a higher number. Here we have DMA continuous request. I'll turn this on. And here I have continuous conversion mode, either disable or enable. If I put enable, the DMA will fill the buffer all at once and I'll get the callback. When I have it disabled, I have the ability to control the DMA and trigger the ADC reading each time I want. Sampling time, 
I'll put it a higher number. And that's it. Now all I need to do is click save. And the cube will generate the code. CRC main in my private variables. Please note that I'm putting u in 16 and not 32 because when I'm displaying the values, I look at them at 16 and not 32 bit. Now we'll go to user code 2. Again, HAL ADC start, set value, and DMA. We're setting the DMA to read 10 times. While 1, set value, value of the ADC. If the ADC is bigger, then it's zero. Just highly delay so I can watch what I'm doing. I'll increase this to 100. And this will trigger the ADC every time I'll reach this. In user begin for, usually you can put here the code that you want. I want to put a breakpoint, so, so I'll do an OPE. This is one clock cycle and it doesn't do anything, but it will enable me to put a breakpoint. Let's compile this. Click debug. I want to run the application on the STM32. I'm using OP Open OCD because with the DGB server and my antivirus, it's causing some issues. Let's put some breakpoints. I'll put in the HAL ADC start and I'll put in the callbacks. I already have in the expressions the value ADC and you can see it's 10 times. Let's run the code and see what happens. So we can immediately see that the duck is already set and it increased to 501 because we set it to 500 and our breakpoint is after we increase the DAC so we have 501 the first time the DMA started it already read the DAC so it's roughly 554 and and now it's waiting for me to click again on the HAL ADC start so let's resume and here is the, our next reading, and again, and again. Now, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And look what happened. We're in the half conversion callback. So we stopped in the half of the buffer. Let's continue. And here we finished the buffer and we stopped. If I click resume again, nothing will happen. And this is because I'll stop this. If we go back to the DMA, we can see that in our DMA settings, when I'm clicking here, the DMA request settings is normal. Let's put it in circular. And let's see what happens. I'm clicking save in order to regenerate the code. I'll go back to my main, compile, debug. Let's open the expressions. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We're in the half of the buffer. Six, seven, eight, nine, Sorry, I missed it. 9, 10. We finished the buffer. Now let's resume and see what happens. 1, 2, 3. You see, when it's in circular, it starts all over again and keeps on filling the buffer. 4, 5. Callback of the inter interrupt callback. 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have the callback. Before, when I counted, 
the counting was wrong because when you click the resume now it exits the breakpoint so that's why I was missing one every time that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I'm loading new videos thank you